Hey, little pussy net, pussy net, a little shorty on you. Um, I was reading uh, recently, uh, and I, I posted on my Google Plus um, page, um, and I'll put the link down. I was reading an article, and uh, Red Cross just came out with new guidelines for first aid. And good ACLS, uh, good advanced life support always starts with good basic life support. And so it's very important for anyone, even uh, if you're in the healthcare professional, to understand the basic life, uh, basic life support. So I was reviewing those new guidelines that they had. There, there's some interesting stuff. Uh, one that I was not surprised because uh, it came up, but it makes me understand a little bit better um, where um, a lot of recommendation on YouTube of the uh, and why in so many kits especially like adventure medical kits and stuff they put uh, antibiotic triple ointment many time I did videos explaining that I don't think that it, it, well uh, I don't carry them or if I carry them they have a very specific purpose when you have an infection uh, but not to use them um, uh, pretty much every time which the Red Cross kind of recommend to and as my channel I always try to make uh, I always recommend um, here's the studies that says X and why I do this um, there is a studies that shows that there's more rapid healing from those those little creams uh, and so this is why in my in the title it says yes but and there's a big but and this is where the big but when I was reading the recommendation that they have uh, they talk about putting a triple uh, ointment but they don't talk about putting a dressing and this is where I think the approach that I recommend uh, is a little bit better um, than the, the Red Cross uh, approach um, the the problem well first of all the ointment is petroleum based or has a certain cream and stuff and so we talk about that in the past we wound care uh, one of the issue that you get with this is that it had um, it, yeah it had humidity to it and so then you can have into maceration and stuff doesn't happen a lot of the time we're talking about serious wounds and stuff so acute wounds and it most likely won't happen but I mean it's still uh, there's still a possibility in, in, in that second of all is that it's an antibiotics and with all the alarms we're getting that antibiotics antibiotics uh, resistance and stuff is a big major crisis even if you just put it on your finger some of it gets into your bloodstream and uh, or even just at your on your skin um, and resistance can be um, can be um, uh, come especially if, for example let's say you're uh, one of those uh, do-it-yourself type of person and you cut yourself all the time and you follow the recommendation of the, the Red Cross and so every time you cut yourself or whatever you put those triple ointment it's a use a chronic use of an antibiotics so by doing so the flora of your hands or like again like I said sometime there is a minimal uh, amount but still some it that can get into the bloodstreams and so the body can become a resistance to it and so then when you really need it it doesn't work so the, if you read the recommendation they talk about small laceration to put that stuff uh, to prevent infection and increase healing and everything. But there's no dressing. I didn't see any in the recommendation and, and most of the studies that they talk about, they don't talk about applying a dressings. This is where the 21st century dressing is a better approach, in my mind, to, um, to the triple ointment antibiotics. Should I keep them? Sure. But have them as your uh, backup, not as your primary approach. Is that if I put the dressing that I, will, I was talking to you about, uh, for example, in my latest video on uh, this little piggy got hurt, um, that dressing, I didn't put triple ointment on there. And it was basically in one of the recommendations that was saying uh, better healing for, uh, for blisters and stuff. 
but my wound never got infected because I got the dressings that protects us against but my body doesn't get resistance to those dressings it protects it from having and since so this is why also I think they recommend most of that stuff because people goes to gauze and gauze is a bad thing it's cotton cotton gets wet infection gets into it or maceration gets into it you put a band-aid water gets somewhere into it there's maceration maceration increase the risk of infection but if you put those nice uh, 21st century dressings and you keep the bugs out in this nice environment to heal you do not need the antibiotics but for whatever reason if the bugs got in before you put your dressing or whatever and and then you do have an infection then the cream <coughs> are there to protect you and they would work versus if you use them on a constant basis like people that put, put a spore in on pretty much everything um, and I see it at a lot of the hospital even like uh, a lot of doctors and stuff oh yeah you got suture put polysporin 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 I don't know why they put polysporin on everything because it's not needed despite the recommendation and stuff so I'll put another research uh, actually in articles that kind of points that it says yes uh, this but just be careful about that and so this is the big but is that I think if you don't have a dressing sure triple ointment that probably would work so if you have like a mini kit that you cannot put but if you have enough space to put a triple ointment inside I'm sure you have a space for two of those little mandate that I was recommending and this is where also the 21st century dressings are better than regular uh, band-aid or regular gauze is that because they don't take as, not, uh, as much space uh, for example uh, the number of gauze that I would need to have a little blister triple would be maybe a pile like this well then in an Altoid tin it doesn't get in one dressing that's going to last me for seven days that is as small as a as a paper sheet then yeah it fits in my can but now I can heal burns I can heal that with this thing I don't need the, the cream and so this is why I think a lot of the kits goes with the triple ointment because they go with gauze as their main um, wound care and because gauze is bigger and packer they cannot put as much and so they're like yeah yeah the recommendation works with the healing of the triple ointments and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure if you would go uh, 21st century dressing versus um, triple ointment, uh, the 21st century dressing wins over the triple ointment, and or is pretty much the same thing. But I'm I'm I would bet my money on the on the 21st century before the triple ointment. So yes, have them in your kit, keep them, but for good stuff, meaning infection is there not as a prevention of infection like a lot of time they recommend for um, healing uh, um, increasing the healing process but if you have the 21st century uh, dressing you do not need those ointments anyway I was a short video um, I'll put all the link that I mentioned down below and I'll talk to you soon